Hi, Improv fans. Good news. We got our first ever video suggestion. Comes from Grace Flanell. I'm giving you your big shout out now. Gracing you with it. I got a link to her improv down below. She suggested the game Oscar Odd. If you would like a chance for a shout out to suggest a topic of a game for me to talk about or a topic for an improvisation, I invite you all to drop a comment down below. While you're down there, you can like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Lee, the lone improviser. I do improv lessons, I perform improv, so subscribe to keep up with all that great stuff. I want to today's topic, Oscar On. A great game that asks that age-old question, what is good acting? But first, let's talk about how to play the game. It's a great one mechanic game. It's played by yourself or in a group with one person being the MC. If you're by yourself, you act as the MC. The MC, you can say a suggestion, and then the scene runs. And it'll run until at some point the MC will call out Oscar on. And at that moment, that performer will do their Oscar moment. The sort of thing you would see in the Oscar reel. I find it helps for the MC to sometimes say Oscar off so that that performer knows when it's time to stop. You just keep on running the scene until everybody gets their Oscar on moment. Or if you're playing by yourself, you want to let a computer or a timekeeping device do the MCing for you. You set a little timer going for like a minute, then you have your Oscar on moment. Either way, you let the scene run to get a resolution and everybody has their Oscar on moment. On to some of my deeper thoughts about the game. As I alluded to earlier, the game is really about parroting, I would say, doing a satire, a pastiche of the question, what is good acting? Because it's actually not really getting at that. It's getting at what is good Oscar bait acting. And that, it's hard to nail down. In the old days, in the golden age, it had a lot to do with glamour and control. Nowadays, it has a lot to do with the most acting being the best acting. Either way, for practical purposes, it means that the performer who gets the Oscar on moment delivers what tends to be a monologue, or at least very them-centric dialogue, in a very heightened way. And a lot of the humor there is that improv doesn't tend to be Oscar sort of acting. With a few exceptions of Robin Williams and Joaquin Phoenix, you don't get a lot of improv and Oscar acting. So it gives us a chance to have a little fun at the Oscar's expense and show that it's not really about the best acting, the most realistic acting, the most expressive acting. It's a lot to do with what you think an Oscar sort of audience would want. When is a good Oscar on moment? The way I see it, there's two good ways to get a lot of it. The first is take it head on. Take a moment that would normally be an Oscar moment. The moment where the character lays out the problems, lays out their conflict, where there's some sort of heightened state. Or the second way, which I actually think can be a lot funnier, is you take a moment of mundanity and you say, that's the Oscar moment. Have your big monologue about doing the dishes. Something like that. Something that the Oscar committee would tend not to talk about. Either way, what you want to do is have a moment of heightened reality. The sort of thing the Oscar committee would like. But that's today's topic, Oscar on. A great game. I thank you for watching. Thank you for your suggestions. As long as you're improving, you're improving.